Alright guys, second part of this video series. Um, this part we're going to be taking the G10 scale, or the slab, cutting it about here and down the middle to separate the two, uh, two templates. Um, for this part, the tools that I'm going to be using are a hacksaw, a power drill, oh yeah, we're also going to be drilling the holes to clear the uh, brass pins on the Swiss Army knife. Uh, so you're going to need a drill. I use this one. It's one that I've had for a while. Um, a drill bit. Uh, actually, quickly, I'll get you the size. I use a 964th is what it says, which is just shy of 1 8th. So I believe, let's see. Yeah, 1 8th. Um, so, I mean, yeah, 1 8th will work just fine. Uh, what I did a while back was I drilled holes through this where the pins are or the, uh, where the recessed areas in the factory scales are. So I, I know the exact position, and uh, all I did was I took a drill bit, and you just make sure that it can fit through it. Um, and this one does just fine. So those, uh, let's see, a clamp to clamp it down when I'm drilling it, um, a vise, and some paper towels. And as far as safety precautions, I just use a little dust mask just to uh, prevent inhaling any G10 dust, which is uh, pretty nasty. Um, I don't have the windows open in here, but I think it'll be fine. Uh, you know, I, I have this on the whole time. Um, I will take it off if I need to say anything or, or whatnot. But uh, yeah, so this is just going to be cutting the scales. Uh, yeah. So the mask goes on. Um, what I like to use is uh, some paper towels just to pad the other side of the vise so I don't mar up any of the uh, texturing on the G10. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start. Alright, so we're through the first part of it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to shift this out. I'm actually going to cut the video just because that's unnecessarily loud and it's kind of boring just watching me cut some G10. Anyway, so this is what we have so far. It's fairly easy to cut through. Um, as you can see, there's just enough to, uh, sorry that was off frame, there's just enough if I mess up I can probably fit another scale on there. Um, one thing that I've been more conscious of as I do these is to make sure when I'm drilling, do the side without the texturing. <laughs> as simple as that sounds, it's, uh, sometimes you get caught up in your work and you just forget. So, um, yeah. Also, sometimes you drill too deep and it goes through. So, uh, I've got to keep conscious of that. Anyway, I'll make a. I'll cut the video now and I'll come back when I've cut these out and I'm ready to drill the holes. All right, thanks. All right, so the scales have been trimmed down. Obviously, this is only one. The other one is right here ready for drilling. I'll show that up close in just a second uh, but as you can see the scale has been trimmed down to a, a more workable uh, size and um, now there's only just one on the piece of G10, G10 I'll be working with. Uh, yeah, As you can see the other side is the textured side and this is the side with the little drawn on areas. Uh, right now I'm going to be drilling the pilot holes, or probably not pilot holes, the the clearing holes for the standoffs um, and then we're going to test fit them on this so and that'll be the video for this. Uh, I'll just show this right now. Um, this is the setup I have. I've got it clamped down uh, ready to be drilled and yeah this thing is sturdy not going anywhere. All right.
set this tripod back up. Now hopefully you guys will be able to see everything I'm doing, uh, or at least get the idea of it, because I don't have one of those cameras with a back-turning LCD. This is just a point-and-shoot with a decent video recording anyway. Um, so I'm going to go do this now, and I'll show you guys what I do and how it comes out. Uh, obviously rolled up my sleeves for this. Um, yeah, trying to be as safe as possible for my safety and for your concern because I know some people just kind of feel the need to point out what we do wrong. I mean, it's not like I'm going to drill into your hand or anything. Anyway. So I just go a little bit at a time. Anyway, uh, now that we have the holes kind of drilled, the guiding holes, um, where there's really no need for this anymore. Uh, they'll be drilling straight down, no matter what I do. So we're just going to check to see those right now. Just make sure they're lined up. Uh, these are not deep enough. I just want to check the alignment. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to do that now. All right, let's see here. It looks like everything's aligned. It just needs to be a little bit deeper, so I'm going to go do this now, and I'll do another test fit in just a second. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test to see which ones need more drilling. Obviously, some don't. Um, see, this one needs more drilling. Oh, sorry, you can't see that, guys. My bad. That one, actually, you know what? Hang on. May as well test it, huh? And I'll hold this up to myself first. All right. Let's see, everything seems to be aligned. All right, awesome. Well, I just gotta drill these a little bit deeper, so I'm just gonna do that and then I'm gonna cut the video, finish the part up before I move on to the next one. Obviously, I wish I had a drill press, but uh, that's just not the case. So, got to do this all with hand tools. All right, sweet. Looks like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Looks like there's just one last bit that needs to be drilled. So, oh, get it, a bit that needs to be drilled. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. Well, that uh, looks about, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drill it just a tiny bit more. don't think that should be an issue. All right. That hopefully will do it. Yep. There we go. All right. As you can see, this is laying flush now. So now it's just a matter of shaping this. So that'll be what the next video, oh, sorry. That'll be what the next video is on. <laughs> sorry, I forgot to take my dust mask off. Uh, yeah, so awesome. Doesn't look like I drilled too shallow. You can't see any uh, light marks on it where the pins would be, so that's a good sign. Did that just right. Um, all right, so let's see. Oh, one last thing. Some people wear gloves, fiberglass, you know, this is epoxy and fiberglass. Uh, it doesn't bug my skin, so it's not an issue for me. Um, although, if it is a health concern, you know, I'm sure I'll, I'll find out. Someone will point it out. And, uh, Maybe I'll switch over. So, yeah. All right. So as of now, this is what we got, and yeah, we'll check that out. See how that comes along. Next video, I'm gonna be filing around this, kind of get the rough shape. 
uh, before I do the actual contouring of the handles. And the last video will be epoxying and showing off the final product. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.